Well, definitely we are at war. The United States of America is at war. And in my opinion, it's not a war with itself. Is at war with people who are conditioning the population of the United States of America. How can I frame this? Who who is the enemy? Is the question to ask. Well, let's analyze the. Uh, Let's, anal let's analyze the data. We just have someone, some national of the United States of America, they get up every single day and go to work to, 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 to get so desensitized, to get some, to get so, so detached. To go to his place of work, like FedEx, and, and, and perform an aggression against his own peers. That, that is how serious the problem is. So let's, let's see if I can figure out who the enemy is. If I get up every morning, I go to work, and I go to work in a, in a place where everyone is my peer. Everyone is the same as me. Everyone will, will accommodate me. Everyone will see me as a friend. Everyone will see me as a co-worker. Everyone will see me as a fellow citizen, as a fellow human. It doesn't matter what happened, the tensions of work, the stresses of work, it doesn't matter. It will never rise to the point of killing one another. So what brings that, that tension and that, that, you know, that rise in, 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 in animosity, what, what bring it that high well I just answer that by saying what I said before that we do not see each other any longer as fellow humans we see each other as enemies destabilized and divided and how how we arrive to that point is very easy very, very simple Human conditioning is achieved through our senses, through the way we feel, touch, see, smell, through our human senses. I believe there are like six of them that we observe. And who is conditioning these senses every day? every single day who is dividing us every single day because it is happening every single minute every single second there is someone telling you through your senses that you are the enemy of your peers the enemy of your neighbors the enemy of your co-workers and they need to die literally because they are not like you so imagine that well, how how you perceive the world when you go home do you talk to your neighbor and receive this information or you turn the television on the radio, on your computer, on your telephone, on 
analyze what I just said, how you receive that division, who is telling you that you are an American, who is telling you that you are white, who is telling you that you are black, who is telling you that you are Latinx, who is telling you that you are not who you are, who Analyze that. Who is telling you? Because it's not me. The opposite. I am telling you who you are. You are a United States of America national. Don't forget that. And you're living on the country that many die to put together. So who is reconditioning you and for how long it's been happening to the point that you do no longer see yourself as what you are to the point that the mayor of America in 9-11 Mr. Rudy Giuliani when asked call himself an Italian national who is conditioning your leadership who is conditioning your neighbor analyze that you have to analyze it yourself I cannot tell you because you will defend it you will defend that position that you are not being conditioned that you are not conditioned that your reflexes are not conditioned you will defend it but you are but you are completely conditioned when you go into a place of worship a place of work a place of unity a place of creation like a workplace is and kill your fellow man saludos to the united states of america do not allow no industrialist especially the information industry to condition your reflexes saludos